ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb and I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something that's a bit off the cuff for us here at Wild Ass Farm. Um, we're grinding our own feed. So we used to get our feed from the mill, uh, from the co-op, and did that for about five, six years. And to be truthfully honest with you, it was, it was great. But with the prices of everything going sky high, sometimes you just need to nip the extras in the butt, so to speak. So we acquired a grinder mixer and a crazy amount of corn that we bought from a local farmer just down the road for about three dollars less a uh, bushel than what we were paying at the creamery so long story short guys we're gonna grind some feed today greg's done it before he used to do this with his dad it's new to me i'm so excited let's get into it you're thinking to yourself well of course you're gonna save money doing it this way you've already admitted to saving three dollars per bushel on corn the question is, how much are we actually going to save? Because we are buying each component that we're adding ourselves and adding it to our grinder mixer, which costs gas to run. And so really, how much are we actually saving? The other nagging question you might be running through your head is how much does corn weigh per bushel? 56 pounds is the answer to that. Now that we got that piece of information out of the way, this right here is a screen. It tells us how big or how fine we want our product, corn, oats, what have you, ground into different pieces. There are little teeth in here, or blades as they call them, that pulverize the corn and or oats or whatever you put in to a fineness depicted by the size of the screen. This is the screen that we are using for the corn. It's a little bit of a guessing game because this is the first time for me and it's been a while for Greg. This dusty sucker right here is the one that we used for the oats. We are gonna change that next time though because they were just a little bit finer than I like. Now we're gonna back this up to this big old grain wagon that holds a buttload of corn. Because I'm short and don't have a very long wingspan, I have to walk all the way around this guy and pull this string to drop the feed auger so that it can receive the corn and pull it up into the grinder portion of this grinder mixer. Now that the feed auger is down and the spout for the wagon is in place, we're gonna be moving some corn. The corn is gonna pass across a magnet, which is right in front of you, and down into the teeth. Now remember, there's a screen in there that tells us how big we want these pieces of corn. The magnet itself is more of a precautionary type of thing to catch any metal particles that could have possibly been in the corn. After the corn goes to the grinder part of the grinder mixer, it is shot up into the bin to be mixed in with everything else. You might be thinking to yourself, well, how do I know that the feed that I'm producing today is going to be adequate for what I'm looking to do? At the end of this video, I plan on showing you how to calculate your crude protein values for your feed that you're trying to produce. We are producing a ton of feed, and before I bought my components, I calculated out what I needed to buy for what my animals needs are. This is a base feed for us and I still play mad scientist and add a few more things to each individual species that we have on the farm to meet their nutritional needs. On the back end of this grinder mixer, there's another auger. This is where you add your components, things like soybean meal, dry molasses, and mineral. This auger allows for a direct feed for those components that do not need to be ground. Now that we have added all of our feed components together, we just need to let it mix. So as it hums away, and I say that very nicely because it is very loud, let's show you what it looks like. This scale grinder mixer has seen a few tons of feed in her day. So it requires a few patches here and there, but we don't mind. I'm happy to have her around. When your components are thoroughly mixed, the next step is to dump your feed. So in the long and short of it, are we gonna save money? Yes, we are. About $86 every two weeks or 170 per month. And judging from the cow's response who file in the barn like it's time to be fed, I've done something right. Now that I have grabbed their attention, let me see if I can hold your attention while we go through how to calculate the crude protein in your feed. Easiest way I can figure to do this is to just straight write it down. And this is for one ton of feed we just made. One ton of feed equals 2,000 pounds. In our batch, corn was 800 pounds and that is 10% protein. Next is oats at 800 pounds. That's 12% protein. After that is soybean meal at a rate of 300 pounds. 
and that is 46% protein. The last one is molasses, and I abbreviate, and that's 100 pounds out of 5% protein. This is my basic feed mix. You can find your levels of protein by either asking whom you got your feed from, or you can look on the interwebs. So you take your 800 pounds of corn, times that by their 10% protein. Then you write down your oats at 800 pounds times your 12% protein. Soybean meal at 300 pounds at a 46% protein. Next is molasses at 100 pounds at a 5% protein. Take your pounds of feed times your percent protein, so 8,000 for corn, 9,600 for oats, 13,800 for soybean meal, and 500 for molasses. Now you're gonna add all of these numbers up, which will give you a total of 31,900. You take this number and you divide it by the total pounds of feed you're making. In this case, it is 2,000 pounds or one ton of feed. The number that you get from this is more or less gonna be your percentage of protein. In this case, your percentage of protein is going to be 15.95. In the case of feed, you round up. So this gives you a grand total of 16% protein for this specific mix. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. And like always, we'll check you later.